Welcome to another Hockey Night in the Valley Bow Valley episode. I'm here today with Bill Gorley, president of the Bow Valley Hockey Association. Bill, thanks for joining us today. Well, thanks, Mark. It's, uh, it's a real privilege to be in my second term as president and to be president as definitely one of the top of, uh, minor hockey associations here in Calgary. Uh, today's a great opportunity to share a few things with our members, and I really appreciate you guys inviting me here to uh, answer a few questions. Well, that's great. Thanks very much. Let's get right into these questions. Bill, tell us, have you, how have you seen things change in Bow Valley in the past few years? Well, first of all, uh, Bull Valley has a real rich history over the last 25 years as an association here in Calgary. And it, uh, it brings a lot of pride and, and it's, it's pretty obvious when you look at uh, the people who are involved with Bull Valley today that uh, the richness of, of the 25 years still remains in this building and all the buildings that we, our children play hockey in. You know, some of the things that, uh, that have changed over the last few years, certainly one of the, one of the things that we focused on is, is really working closely with our coaches. Our coaches are probably our number one decision that we make each year because it's the coaches and the coaching team that spend most the most time with our children on and off the ice. So we really try to invest a lot of time and energy at the start of each year, working with our coaches and then throughout the year, hence part of the reason why we hired Kevin Yellowegg as our manager of hockey operations. With Kevin's knowledge and experience, he's a great resource to work with all of our rookie coaches as well as our veteran coaches to make sure that, you know, um, that uh, the coaches bring the best, uh, the best framework and the best nurturing and training and, and practice plans to our children to make sure that their experience is, is top notch and not only for development purposes, but also for the overall life, life experience. That's great. I can't agree with you more. Coaches are a very big part of the association and I certainly see a lot of changes in that part of the process. Well, that's great. Uh, as, a, as you have said, coaching is a very big part for Bow Valley. Is there anything else, Bill, that, uh, that you see is changing in the last few years? Well, what comes along with, with working closely with our coaches is player development. Um, you know, our three prongs to a successful season is certainly setting a very safe environment for our kids on and off the ice. The second piece is making sure that they have a great, great experience, a fun experience. And thirdly, it's that skill development. And so we really, uh, over the last few years, we've made, really made strides in working with our coaches, but making sure that all of our members understand that, that development and player development, and regardless of what uh, division your child is playing at, development is a key component of Bull Valley and we continue to nurture that uh, as part of our environment and the third piece I'd say that's changed over the last few years and it's it hasn't really changed we've just continued to build on it and that's that's the really the community pride of Bull Valley we've really tried to work on some branding really making sure that our logo is front and center making sure there's a lot of pride in the logo on, on each of our players jerseys and making sure that we we continue that rich history that I mentioned earlier on we, we continue onwards and making sure that on and off the ice Bull Valley members are presented with the most top uh, respect Pride and development is very important, and I can't agree with you more. Uh, the game of hockey can bring you a lot for future life skills, and the fact that we're focusing that for these young, uh, these young players and giving them the opportunity to succeed in the future is a very big part of why I love the game so much. Well, that's fantastic, Bill. Thanks very much. Tell us a little bit about the challenges that Bow Valley will be facing in the next year or so, and, and what kind of impact Hockey Calgary is making to those challenges. Well, first of all, uh, first... Uh first thing I can say to that is that each minor hockey association is faced with its own unique set of challenges. Here at Bow Valley, uh, some of the challenges that we're faced with today are our increasing growth in our membership and the shortage of ice. They go kind of hand in hand. And as a board, we're always continually evaluating what's available to us. We're going to start working and trying to see what we can do to become with, come up with some creative and unique ways to best utilize the ice that we have, and yet keeping a real close uh, eye on uh, further development of uh, facilities that are going to be built, particularly here in the southeast end of, of Calgary. The third piece, um, and, and, and it, which serves as a challenge, is really part of being a Canadian and, uh, and all of us living under the pressures of playing hockey in this beautiful country of ours, but also the, the, the pressures and the passion that we all bring to the arena. Uh, safety needs to be and will continue to be our number one priority of all the children that are involved in this sport. And there's a lot of stuff that we're seeing in through the media with concussions and everything else. We're gonna work and continue to work closely with Hockey Calgary, Hockey Alberta, and even Hockey Canada to continue to make sure that we're making uh, continuous improvements to make sure that our children are safe playing this wonderful sport of ours. I can't agree with you more. Uh, what about Hockey Calgary? What sort of impacts or assistance do they offer Bow Valley to help us uh, with the challenges that we're facing? 
Yeah, you know, Hockey Calgary plays a real key role in this, and, and we've got to remember that they're a volunteer association uh, organization as well, and they have a lot of great people that, uh, that make up their board. Um, what we do is uh, I sit on a, a council, the President's Council, so all 16 uh, presidents of the, the hockey associations, including uh, Quadrant Hockey and Girls Hockey and Rec Hockey, we come together each month and we talk about the challenges and the uniqueness of hockey here in Calgary, and we work collectively together. Uh, probably not enough information is shared with, uh, with the, the greater community, but there's a lot of great work going on behind the scenes. Hockey Calgary also is keeping tabs of, uh, of the, di the demographics throughout the city and the ice shortages and they're doing the best they can working with uh, city council, developers, as well as associations to make that make sure that we're doing the best we can to address these challenges that we're faced with today. Well, that's great. We appreciate the input. Often all we get is the griping and groaning about the problems with Hockey Calgary. We never get the feedback about what they're actually doing to help us out. So it's always great to share that sort of information with our members and any hockey enthusiast that wants to know what's really going on. So thanks for that information. Well, as we move along, Bill, why don't you tell us a little bit about the direction that Bow Valley will be heading in the next year? Well, that's a good question, Mark. Uh, it's, it's one thing that, as a board, we always try to look not just at the, the upcoming year. We try to look to the next three to five years. Uh, we will, and... Uh, you know, we will continue to strive for excellence in Bull Valley. It's one thing that's ingrained in our history, and we will continue to strive to be the number one hockey association here in Calgary, both on and off the ice. Uh, we, you know, our, our, our job as far as part, being part of the board is to bring the resources to the coaches, to the parents, and to the players to ensure they have a rich environment to continue to grow our players and making sure that they have a, a, ultimately a great life, lifetime experience in, in playing hockey. Um, the second thing too is we will continue to have the courage to try new things as an association. We had the courage a few years ago to create the manager of hockey operations in Kevin Yellowega. We had the courage to do some three on three tournaments. We had the courage to start our fundraising uh, golf tournament, which is which I'll speak to in a moment about uh, the changes that are happening with it. But also, you know, the, the courage to address the financial constraints and pressures of keeping a child and registering a child in hockey. And that came through the vehicle of a, a vehicle raffle. Last year, the car raffle. This year, the, the truck raffle. There's a lot of stuff that we have the courage of trying. Uh, is everything perfect? Absolutely not. But what probably the most important thing is, is what we do with the learnings when we try these new things. And that's what I really like about Bull Valley is that not only do we have the courage, but we also have the volunteer base with the determination to follow through with it and make sure that we do things right. Well, and, and you're talking about courage and that message being sent and trickled down to our players uh, as part of the message that we're sending them as young individuals to develop in part of the game and develop life skills. If they don't see that happening from their association, then really what is the message we're sending to them? So that's fantastic. Thank you very much. Is there anything else you'd like to add in uh, part of the message that are, uh, for our members? Well, you know, I mentioned the golf tournament. I think that uh, I really hope that our members pay particular attention to this year's uh, registration and the information. We're really fortunate uh, to have Tyler Myers as part of our history here in Bull Valley. And, and Tyler's come on as a, an official uh, partner to our golf tournament. And he's told us he's going to bring a few of his friends, uh, most likely from the NHL, uh, to really beef up this golf tournament. So it's going to be a real signature event on the off season. Uh, this year is scheduled for June 25th and 26th. But we're really looking forward long term to, to developing these relationships with uh, Bull Valley alumni to make sure that they don't forget their their history and their grassroots with hockey but also to to leverage off of that those types of individuals to have some fun with it and ultimately bring uh, further you know value to to Bull Valley today and then you know and the final message I'd like to just send out to, to members is that uh, I really want to thank everyone um, this this is a volunteer association and we do have the best volunteers in the city of Calgary and I really want to thank everyone for chipping in and just making sure that uh, we just don't get past doing things, but we do them right. We do them first class, and it really uh, it really shows when I go to meetings at Hockey Calgary. A lot of people ask questions about Bull Valley, and there's reasons for it. And it's, it's all 600, 600 plus families. We all chip in. We do it together, and that's what makes me proud to be part of Bull Valley. I can't agree with you more, and it's kind of nice to finally be sending a message out to the members so that this communication gets down to everybody and they have the opportunity to understand where things are at, where they're going, and hopefully a little bit of tie-in for some of our individual players. Maybe some of the kids might want to come down to the tournament on the 25th and the 26th and maybe get a few signatures, who knows? Uh, but it's nice that they're getting the message and getting the information at the same time. Well, thanks very much for your time today. We appreciate it, and uh, a lot of great information and a lot of great direction. 
Well, thanks a lot and keep up the great work. This pride and culture work you guys have been doing and setting it up and the videos online, it's fabulous. And I think it's just another, another example of how Bull Valley's leading the way. We have the courage and uh, I really look forward to the future. Well, that's great. Thanks very much and have a great day.